Have you ever been using chat in VS Code and noticed that they have different modes such as ask, edit, and of course, agent mode, but maybe there's been some times you kind of wish you could have tweaked it and customized it a little bit to serve the need for your purpose at the time. Well, now we have custom chat mode. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's take a look. When discussing chat modes, I want to first point you to the documentation that we have here, which is nice and very clear. And these are the chat modes that we currently have in VS Code. Ask, Agent, and Edit. And right below here are custom chat modes that were created. And in this documentation, if you scroll down a little bit below, it describes the purposes of each of these modes for ask, edit, and agent. And then it moves on to what custom chat modes are. And this is what this video is going to be about. But if you want to follow along with the documentation, just come on over here. And over here, it'll describe the different parts of the file structure. And you can see that they're broken down into two parts the front matter metadata header and then the body with chat modes instructions. Now, why don't I just skip down over here just so you can see how that actually looks when one is completed. And this is just done in a markdown file. So the key things to remember is just to have a description of what the chat mode does and then the tools that you use. This part is very important and just know that it includes built-in tools, tool sets, MCP tools, are tools contributed by extensions. And of course, there is the model that you choose to use. So that's all within the front matter metadata header. And then right below is exactly detailing what you want the chat to do. So let's go ahead and create one of our own. So in this demo, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a custom chat mode for research mode. But before I do, let's say I just wanted to start doing some research myself on what are the pros and cons of using Redis versus Memcache. And I'll ask chat that. And it'll start answering. And I might be okay with the answer, but when you're doing research, there might be specific requirements that you need. And you might want the data formatted in a particular way. For example, I might want a section for an overview and then another section for a detailed explanation rather than just jumping in the way that this has the answers so far. In addition, I might want some citations. I don't see any citations here. And usually when you're doing research, it's not just in one shot. You might want to do it in multiple days. So maybe I might want some next steps to consider as I continue my research on another day. So all these instructions I can create in a custom chat. So let's create one for research mode. And the way we do that is by going to configure modes. I can select create custom chat mode, then select user data file. And here I'll enter research mode. And now you see the beginning template of what we saw in the documentation earlier, where we would put the metadata with the description and tools. And we could also add a specific model here, but by default, it did not add that. And then the instructions will go below. So let's start with the description that I've pre-written to conduct a deep technical research. And the tools that I'll include will be codebase, fetch, search, and GitHub repo. Codebase gives us access to our local code files. Fetch lets Copilot make HTTP requests. Search lets Copilot perform local code searches. And GitHub repo, of course, lets Copilot pull context from a GitHub repo. And right below here, I'll go ahead and add my instructions, which will tell chat that you are in research mode to respond thoroughly and with nuance. And most importantly, that I want my sections broken out into an overview, a detailed explanation, citations if available, and optional next steps. So now, if I go down and select the drop down, I'll have an option for research mode. And if I ask the same question again, this time it'll provide the response 
the way that I need it with an overview, boom, look at that. And then a detailed explanation describing what I asked. Look at that, citations with links. And then last but not least, optional next steps. And this is great because each time I wanna do research, I can just pop to research mode and then it'll provide data the way that I want and I don't need to give chat specific instructions each and every time. Let's go ahead and turn to another example. So right now to my left, I have a SQL file that could be optimized. And I could ask Chad to optimize this SQL file. But the way that it lays out the steps that it's going through, I might not be fully satisfied with it. There might be a certain approach that I want to consume the steps. For example, I might want to have a query analysis done. I might want to have optimization suggested followed by the reasoning and then optional tips. So why don't we go ahead and go to configure modes. We'll create a new custom chat specifically called SQL Optimizer with the description tools and instructions that I want. So in my case, for the description, I have analyzed and optimized big SQL queries with performance, scalability, and best practices in mind. And I only have two tools mentioned using search and code base. And in my instructions, you could see that I specifically mentioned I want to have a query analysis on line eight. On line nine, I begin explaining the optimization suggestions, followed by reasonings on line 10 and 11 optional tips with details on what that means. So now let's go ahead and switch to SQL Optimizer and run the command again to optimize the SQL file. Beautiful. Now I have my query analysis section followed by the optimization suggestions and then specifically the reasonings for the changes. Then I see it has recommended indexes, but most importantly, my big SQL best practices tips, which I had requested. Let's go ahead and do one more before wrapping up. Sometimes VS Code is used for creating documentation, which is great, but if you're using it as a writing tool, that could also include writing a blog. So on the left here, I have some content that's not formatted at all properly for a blog, but I could ask chat format this for a blog, but it'll make some assumptions how it thinks I want it to be formatted for a blog which is okay, but I might want to have specific instructions. And so while this is all right, let's go ahead and create a custom mode for formatting content for blogs. So again, I'll go ahead and create custom mode, choose user data and put in the name blog mode. And I will go ahead and paste in my metadata and instructions that I've pre-written. We could take a quick glance at it. And this is, as you can see in the description, to transform raw and unstructured markdown text into polished professional blog posts. The tools we'll use is Codebase and Search. And again, as a reminder, we could choose to specify a model, but we're just gonna keep with the default here and skip on down to the instructions that I have clearly written. And I have four major steps. The first is to go over to grammar and spelling corrections. Step two is to structure and reorganize the markdown content, followed by recommending future blog topics. And last but not least, adding some emojis. And I have some additional information here regarding tool usage and formatting guidelines. So let's go ahead and give this a shot now. So I will switch this to blog mode and we will go ahead and request to format this blog. And now look at that. We clearly have our emojis at the very top. It mentioned it did the grammar and spelling corrections made. Then it has my content that's been reorganized and structured. And if you recall, for step three, I had asked it to recommend some future blog ideas, and this looks a lot nicer. So that's pretty cool, everything we just showed right now. So why don't you tell me in the comments what would you use custom chat mode for? Also, if you like this video, make sure you check out this one too that might be of interest to you. And I will see you in the next one.